When you're looking for images to use in your educational materials, it's a great practice to seek out images that have been shared with a Creative Commons license. A Creative Commons license is one that provides you with the permission to reuse the image without written permission from the author or the creator. But there are certain things that you need to do to be able to use the image or reuse the image within limits of the Creative Commons license. The first thing you need to know is how to find Creative Commons licensed images. And I find that Flickr is um, a fabulous resource for finding CC licensed images. Flickr is located at flickr.com. And if you go to the Flickr website, you can search for CC licensed images without an account. All you need to do is go to the home page and enter a search term into the search box in the upper right. and click search. Your results will appear on the next page and at the top you will see an option to filter your results. The default is any license. Click the drop down arrow and change that to Creative Commons only. If you want to use your image for commercial purposes you'll want to select commercial use allowed and if you want to be able to modify the image, you'll want to select modifications allowed. Once you change the filter, all of the images on your page are licensed with a Creative Commons license. And that's a great way to start your search. Another thing you can do is sort them by recent or interesting. I'll change over to interesting, but if you do that, the images certainly become more interesting, but they also become less relevant. Now I'm going to show you how to select an image and how to locate the information that you need to attribute the image and also show you how to download it. I'm going to select this image right here of this lovely sunset just by clicking on it. You'll see that the image has opened on my screen. And what I want to do is scroll down the right column, past the description information, until you find these icons. The icon with the three dots is labeled More Actions. Click there, and then select Download All Sizes. By selecting that option, you have several things displayed to you. You have the title of the image. This image is titled July 7, 2009 Extravaganza Prediction, True. The author's name or username is Pilotage. When you attribute an image under Creative Commons licensing, you need to include three things. You need to include the title, which is right here. You need to include the author slash creator, and that can either be the username or the person's real name. However it appears there is just fine. And you also need to include the license information. This is the license information. This is called a CC BY license and we can click there to get more information about the license. You can also grab that link and link to it in your attribution if that makes sense for the format that you're using. I'm going to download the medium size of this image. I'll click on medium and then download. What I've done here is opened the downloaded image on the left. It is now opened in an application called Preview which is a Mac application that is included in the Mac operating system. 
and on the right side is the image on the Flickr website where I downloaded it from. If we go back into the more actions area of that image and click on download all sizes again. This is one workflow option for um, attributing the image that I like to use. So I open the image up in preview and um, I use the option in preview to add a text annotation to the image. So in preview, I go up to tools in my toolbar at the top and I select annotate text. And then I click at the bottom of my image and it allows me to enter text onto the screen. So I can simply type the, ti the title of the image We can make that smaller. I usually go to 18 points. And then the last thing I need to add at the end there is the license. CC is Creative Commons and this one just has a buy or attribution license and we see that here. That's what the person stands for. And I'll tuck that down in the corner and um, another thing I like to do is actually copy that information and retitle the image with the same info. And I might add a keyword to the beginning, which will help me actually search for it a little bit better on my computer. And then I can um, look for the image. And when I pull it up again, if I'm looking for a sunset image, all that information is in the title of the file. And it's also already on the image itself when I go to use it. So hopefully that is helpful to you in understanding how to find CC licensed images and also how to attribute them.